So two things happened this year. The pandemic happened, and we had a series of Black Lives Matter uprisings, and I should say police murders that led to those uprisings. And I think both of those things made a lot of people realize or realize more fully that the government, the state, does not care about us, does not have our best interests in mind, does not care about our safety or well-being, doesn't even care whether we live or die. And that, to me, is the kind of class consciousness that matters. My problem with Marxists and the collapse into class is looking at, well, so I have two problems with it. The first is that I think there are other differences in privilege that matter. So I worry that collapse into class ignores both the role that the state plays in privileging the classes, right? So I, I think when you collapse to class and you say the problem is the capitalist class, it ignores what I think is actually doing the work there, which is the state. So that matters. And I also think that Marxists tend to get it wrong as far as which economic class to focus on. So the classic Marxist approach is to focus on the proletariat, the working poor, right? The labor class. I think the appropriate beginning of a new world is with the lumpen proletariat, is with the non-working poor, is with people who can't work. Particularly, I have been encouraged to see more movements that center the voices and leadership of homeless people, of disabled people, of people who are completely cut out of the economic system. So that is, that is a big difference I have as well with Marxists. And it seemed like a particularly good time to push for that when the pandemic began, because what needed to happen was not better labor, right? It wasn't more jobs. It wasn't higher income for the jobs. It was, we need to not be working right now. We, we, need, to, we need to have a society that can reduce production and not have this, this sort of uh, pro, pro-industrial approach. Uh, that you get out of classical Marxism. And that's not to say there are Marxists who haven't considered these things. There are. There are Marxists who have shifted focus to the lump and proletariat. There, have Mar- there are Marxists that have shifted to the degrowth model, right? And this idea that we, we shouldn't just be increasing industrialization and, and labor power and things like that. So yeah, it's been disappointing to see some of these things not pan out. But what I was trying to say with that article is to the group of people who previously were more privileged and through some of these experiences realized they had more in common with people who are oppressed, I wanted them to consider, okay, how do we actually push for change? But I I also wanted Marxists to consider a broader approach for their political projects and to not say, how can we get everyone into our socialist party or into a union or whatever? And what can we do spontaneously? This is why I was advocating for citywide rent strikes and general strikes, is that you don't organize those things through the same sort of organizational methods that a lot of Marxists prefer right now. You organize those things with neighbors spontaneously. So I was hopeful that with more people getting interested in mutual aid and radical politics, there is an opportunity to do some of that large-scale spontaneous organizing. And we did see it start to happen here in Philadelphia. It started to happen around evictions and rent strikes. We had a couple of rent strikes that got off successfully. But one of the organizations, so we have a tenants union here, the Philadelphia Tenants Union. They have done some good work. But at the beginning, they said they would not support a citywide rent strike. And so a lot of people didn't go ahead with it. You know, we had small strikes in neighborhoods that weren't linked up because there was not support from the institutional Marxist people in the city. And their approach was, we don't have the capacity as an organization to run a citywide rent strike. And my response was, yeah, nobody does. It's not something that a group runs for everybody else. It's all of us as a city do it. So yeah, my my big thing is, you know, trying to promote class consciousness of a very particular sort, uh, which recognizes that the state is at the root of the problem, and which recognizes that the non-working poor are as important, if not more important, than the proletariat as a as a force for revolution. That comes partially from just having had a lot of 
conversations with people who are experiencing homelessness and realizing that nobody is more aware of the ways in which the state fucks people over than they are. Nobody. 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 Nobody.